OK, I'm going to work through an exam style question here, really pointing out the different sections of the question that you might face. So what we're first given is that f of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x squared plus 16x plus 30. So f of x is a cubic, a polynomial, cubic polynomial. Part A, divide f of x by x plus 3. So we're going to use polynomial division in order to do this. So I write the x plus 3 on the left-hand side. I want x cubed, so I'm going to have to multiply x by x squared to get the x cubed. So x squared times 3 is 3x squared. Now I don't want 3x squared, I want 5x squared, so I'm going to have to add on 2x squared. x's into that go 2x. 2x times 3 is 6x. I don't want 6x, I want 16x. So I've got to add on 10x, x is into 10x go 10, and 10 times 3 is 30. 30 is what I want, and so there is no remainder. So from that, I can, I've divided f of x by x plus 3, and that's what I've got, okay? So I'll leave it there for the moment. Now write f of x as a product of a linear factor and a quadratic factor. So that allows me to write f of x as x plus 3, because I now know because x plus 3 goes into the polynomial cleanly, it must be a factor. It's like saying that 10 divided by 5 is 2. Because, because 5 goes into 10 cleanly twice, 5 is a factor of 10. So x plus 3 is a factor of f of x, and the other factor is x squared plus 2x plus 10, what I got in the top row. So if you want to check, you should be able to now expand those double brackets and get back to what we started with. So I've now written the cubic as a product, because it is two things multiplied together, the product of a linear term and a quadratic term, or a linear factor and a quadratic factor. That is what I wanted in part B. So it's really getting to know the language. Part C, show that f of x equals 0 has only one real solution. So if f of x is equal to 0, then x plus 3, x squared plus 2x plus 10, must be equal to 0. Now, if this is equal to 0, then either x plus 3 is 0, in which case x would have to be minus 3, or x squared plus 2x plus 10 is 0. Now, we know of a way of showing whether a quadratic equation has real solutions or not, and that's using the discriminant. So if I use the discriminant on this, b squared minus 4ac, I get b squared, so 2 squared, that's 4, take away 4 lots of a times c, so 4 lots of 1 times 10, that's minus 40. So that gets me minus 36, and because that's negative, there can be no real solutions from the quadratic. And so it can never be equal to 0. So the only way I can get any values from this being 0 is from x being equal to minus 3. That's the only real solution to f of x is 0, as was required as part of the question. OK? So it's bringing together a few ideas here, but it's really getting to grips with the language and what is the question asking you to do.